Wow, I had a blast. That was unbelievable. Let's get to the pickups. Uh, can't wait to show you guys the PC uh, edition. A couple PCs uh, edition, but man, there's one that I'm very excited about. Um, love this bomb card. I still think, I've been saying it, broken record alert, bomb is great. Um, he's not gonna be in a mate. He's not gonna be Tatis, okay? But I think he's a good player and I like him and he's doing very well. So um, out of 50, really, really like that one. Uh, just really nice. Had to pick this one up out of a value box. Uh, someone who clearly didn't look at their value box before. Uh, realizing that they were doing a Fenway Park show. Refractor, Matt Strom, got it for a dollar. Very, very excited about that. Um, also got this one for cheap because it was a Fenway show. And apparently we're all giving up on Bobby D. But uh, I'm not giving up on him. So picked up the out of $199 uh, Aqua, I believe is what we're gonna, we're gonna call this one. Uh, very, very, very excited about that. Now, speaking of slumping, I can't believe this, but two great deals. I was able to pick up Christian Yelich and his refractor, both Chrome autos, rookie autos. This was the same price as this. Can't, can't understand it. I mean, I get it. It's BGS versus PSA, but it's a refractor. Come on. And he's doing really well, okay? He's, his batting average isn't where it needs to be, but he's he's hitting, and he's doing all right. And I think he's going to uh, hopefully have a big bounce back. Love the auto on this. Look at how crisp that one is. This one looks like it was a little bit at the end of a, a, a pen, but um, two great pickups there that uh, were kind of just like hidden gems amongst um, the pile. Um, I guess... I guess we're going to go with this one next, even though I think this is one of the bigger cards that I picked up. Shohei Otani, rookie, short print, SGC 10, tuxedo. Look at this bad boy. Unbelievable. So it's from Update. It's his Update uh, short print. Really, really nice. Love it. US one. Um, I am a big sucker for the short print. So adding this is huge in my opinion. So um, we're gonna condense these guys here. So we can do this. Cause we need to save some room here. And you know what we'll do? We'll do that, okay? There we go. Um, so let's start with, this was the the throw in to the deal. Um, very excited about this one. Didn't pay the 125 on here. Um, so awesome. Numbered out of 25. Great condition. Little some little whitening around. You know the the edges. That's actually some of that is in the the design of it. But the bottom one's definitely a little white. Um, but all in all, for a card this old that a lot of people didn't really take care of. And it's a thick one. Great autograph. A lot of time his autograph uh, goes up and off the label, which is really a bummer. Um, so this was great. Had to pick this up and this sealed the deal for what I am going to show you now. So as you saw in the video, uh, my buddy Rory there uh, had some great cards and one in particular was unbelievable and I had to pick it up had to can't believe it numbered out of 75 all right the numbered out of 25 went for like 650 dollars I think um not too long ago and the black out of 100 just sold for 370 dollars the other day raw so um not gonna lie, I, I think a hundred is is a steal for this. His base his base autograph should be going for a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars, but there's people on eBay that are saying that it's more rare than a card that's literally numbered seven out of seventy five. 
they're saying that their cards are uh, are more rare because no one kept them and so they're asking for two thousand dollars so take a look uh and you can have a good laugh but they are out of this out of this world um when recent sales say otherwise so seeing this in the case for a hundred dollars i almost just was like just give it to me i'm going i'm leaving done i'm done with the show this is i wanted a xander rookie chrome auto i wanted this really bad i wanted the, the number out of 25 because it was the red um however that uh that chris costa who put on the fenway show um didn't didn't return my uh my tweet my direct message <laughs> so always check your direct messages when you're uh when you got a potential sale because you might close the deal but i'm so happy i didn't now because uh i love this just as much um so very very excited even if xander leaves which i hope he doesn't um and by leaves i mean the red sox don't offer him a contract that he deserves so i'm not going to get into that but um even if he leaves, I'm still going to love him. Even if he goes to the Yankees, still going to love him. I don't blame him for it. So what a haul. I mean, I am I think I'm most excited about these two just because they're both, you know, are this, you know, the sepia and then the, uh, the refractor over here. Unbelievable. And then, I mean, how do you not get excited? This is my first miggy solo autograph i have another one and i believe he's with like dallas mcpherson or something like that so it kind of it's it's a it's a dual autograph that's not the best but um but that one is great because it's my first solo miggy and uh i think he's gonna be a hall of famer i don't know comment down below if you think miggy's gonna be a hall of famer <laughs> um and it's not every day you could say a shohei otani rookie short print isn't your top your top pickup from a show but man there were just there were deals everywhere what a show what a view um if you ever get a chance and they do it again come to the fenway card show the causeway card show is great cause it's at the td garden but it's in a separate venue entirely this although they it's technically a separate venue it's Fenway Park, okay? So I take back all the things I was saying, being like, oh, it's technically not the Fenway Card Show. Oh, it very much is. You walk right outside. You are in Fenway Park. I was able to sit down in the seats. Um, you could go sit down in, in Ted Williams' seat if you wanted to, the little red seat out there. So what a great show. And I am I cannot recommend it enough. So definitely check it out if you get a chance. If they do it again, I'm sure they'll do it again. So awesome. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure you like this video. Comment down below what your favorite pickup was. Subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell icon so you stay notified every time we post a video. And then head on over to Instagram and Twitter, at GDubsCollects. We are going to have some great photos up there of these uh, in the next coming days. Uh, we have an awesome one of this that's going to post with in unison with this video. So... Um, so be on the lookout for that. That's great. Um, so yeah, so make sure you hit me up on those. And if you're interested in one of these Yelich cards, I only really need one. Um, so, but I, I might have to part with this, even though I really, really like it. Um, and it stinks because it's it, the centering on it is what is holding it back, which is crazy. Uh, that could have been a 9.5. Uh, corners and surface, uh, corners and edges are great. So it was just the surface. So whenever I see that, I think I can clean it up too. So that's that might be something I take a look at under the magnifying glass and see what we can do. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you were at the Fenway Card Show, please comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the card show because I thought it was one of the best card shows in this area. Uh, that we've seen in a long time. So that was really, really awesome. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep the hobby alive. It is certainly, certainly alive. Keep on collecting. <laughs>